Let's just get us set up. And then we'll see if any of you start watching. Tonight we have a wheel. And there's an echo. Hmm. Right, here we go then. So I'm just waiting for the stream to start. And then I'll be able to see your comments. Because of course there'll be lots of you commenting. And I'll just wait here until we're ready. Until we have until we have one viewer and then we'll go into it so let's take a look now we'll kick off with the uh, enhanced games that we see here and we have two viewers say hello viewers it's weird hearing myself I wonder if I can change that it's just uh, go through those options there. Can you guys still hear me? That's the question. Can you guys hear me? I'm going to I'm going to cut off my own voice now so I can hear the gameplay and not hear myself echoing in my ears. Right. Let's get stuck in then. So, what have we got? Today we've got the patch for F1 2017. So, we're just going to take a quick look at that and then see how we get on with that great so you guys can hear me okay hi right, guys right let's get into that have a look now so we're running in 1080p mode obviously because i'm streaming it uh i'm going to go away you know once i've done a few streams I'll, I'll have a look at the 4k i'll move it from room to room and uh see how we get on with this, this isn't going to be a super long stream uh, it's just going to be a case of trying a few games out i'll set my wheel up again because obviously using the controller yesterday i it's great for some games, but for some of the racing stuff, it's much easier for me to use my wheel. Um, and now the screen's gone blank. Here we go. So, Xbox X Power. Let's see what it's capable of. Okay, mm lovely. Let's have a look at Circuit. Now, I've not been playing F1 for a long, long time. Um, but first I need a swig of my tea. That's better. Right. Yep, okay. Oh. Um. Okay. Sorry, didn't realise that we had all this. There we go. Oh God, I don't want to deal with that. No, just, just, yeah, yeah, whatever. Fine, I don't care. Yes, I don't care. Oh, uh, let's call him. Um, I didn't realise I'd have to go through all this. Uh, We do it just with the stick. No, no, it doesn't work that way. It's much easier with the control pad than the wheel. Oh God! <laughs> All right, hold on then. We could have done a more complex name, but we'll just stick with Bob. Bob the racing driver, Bob, Bob G, let's just do that, that's going to be my uh, profile now for F1, lovely, B, whatever, done. And uh, welcome to Formula One. Okay, welcome. Let's just do a Grand Prix. I have to look over my steering wheel, so that's why. Uh, um, what should we do? Let's do a. Let's do a Red Bull. Oh, there's Daniel there, looking very fetching. Uh, that's already looking a bit better, actually. Um, let's think of a circuit. Let's 
want to do one that's gentle to get me into it before. Uh, uh, you know, hold well on. Let's do Austria. Oh, I don't want to go through all this. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'm just trying to rush into the racing here. Oh, has it has the frame rate died on the video? Damn, maybe I need a new uh, uh, cable. That could be could be the issue. I'll have to try a different cable at some point. Oh, how's the frame rate, guys? Give me the feedback. Yeah, some games do. They do look pretty amazing in 4K, and I have to admit that it really does bring them out. Let's just, let's just have a muck about on this, see if it runs out. Oh, in the rain well as then, well. After an exciting let's just get into it. That's not what I wanted, but whatever. This has not gone to plan at all. I was just going to go for a quick race, get it done. During the dry. Clutch in. Come on. Hold until lights out. Which is that one, isn't it? It's automatic, isn't it? Oh well, let's just look at the graphics and then we'll we'll go through the gears and load it. I don't know where the breaking points are, so I apologise in advance for. Somebody bump me from behind. It's Perez. Rather strangely, there's no spray from the other cars, so it's, it's, I'd expect a lot more spray. I expect to be blinded at these speeds. Let's see if we can turn off uh, what we've got here. Let's just leave some assists on at the moment because I don't know. It's just okay. That's oh, did I just bothered those off? Medium. I don't want to uh, be spinning off everywhere. set my steering up unfortunately I've got the steering lock set to uh, too much of an angle at the moment but graphically yes it does look better it's running at a locked a super locked 60 frames uh, I can't get the car around uh, I can't get the car around now um, and it's running very smoothly indeed so I'm gonna make some videos of this once I've sorted my steering wheel out yeah, it's not going to work like that, is it? I'll have to uh, sort out my wheel.
passing the torpedo. And on our way through. So running very smoothly. What can I say? Um, it's running locked at su super smooth frame rate. I'm going a gear lower than I normally would. But that's all right. My steering angle isn't quite as I would like it. I have quite a sensitive steering wheel when I run these things. Max, max attack in the way there. And of course ahead of him he's got Felipe Massa. We'll be saying goodbye to again. Christian Horn is having a heart attack now. And that's the end of the race. Thank goodness for that. So then we can find a dry track and start seeing a few more courses. Okay, so first impressions are running solid as a rock. That is great. It's like the PC version. 60 frames must look amazing in 4K. Must look amazing. I'm going to go up, see it in 4K after this, but it's really nice to play. I will set my wheel up properly as well with it. Um, so another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. Yeah. Of course, today Lewis was so strong in the car, it's so good for him. Here. Look at him. Oh no, we've got Bottas winning. Bottas. Where's well, his manager, isn't he? So there we are. Everyone's a winner at Mercedes this year. Lovely. Really, it'd be good if I had a comparison with what that was, but on that particular race. circuit, if They've you played it, the trees and some of the detail didn't look very refined. Well it looks much Mercedes better now, and the frame rate is solid. There's Bottas. Shame he just faded away after that, didn't he, this season? I'll get you next time, buddy. That's what Vettel's and saying. Now I'd right. like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Oh, it's got got to be Bob. Right. Stable performance is solid as a rock in the rain. Um. Oh, sorry. We'll just do a quick one without. Um. Uh, I should probably sort my steering out first. We can't do Monaco. Let's do something that's a bit more that I can deal with. Let's do Spa for a moment. Okay. Now, a, a patch for dirt, uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if uh, Codemasters went through all their titles, I think, but I think um, I think we'll have to wait and see, see how this does, uh, see how many people essentially buy the console, and then I think you'll see more and more patches coming through, but ultimately, if it's the PC version, that's what they, they're putting on the disc, is the PC version, so, you know... Uh, I remember chatting to the developers about this earlier this year. And this, at maximum settings, doesn't use the full power of the console at all. So there's probably 30% capacity left, even running at this at max 4K. So it's comfortably powerful. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't know how I'll get on, but... Shit. Ah, uh, well... No good. It's not going to get far, is it? If I can't find the right button. Which button is it? Uh, restart session. If I can find the view change button here. Okay, now 
Oh, he's giving me. Oh, giving me a knock on. Right. <laughs> let's try again, shall we? And let's turn off this racing line as well. Hold on. Let's see if we can sort that out. Okay. Right, let's be. That's better. Goodness me, that's not working for me, is it? Oh, that's not going to help. Yes, great start. Come on, Nigel, do it. Brilliant. The lift on my roofs, terrible. Again, this is running amazingly well. What can I say? Really smooth. Like just perfect, absolutely perfect running here. Somebody, really? After a bad start, okay. Goodness, that's close. Okay, you need to give that um. position back. That was an illegal overtake. A life or death moment saved, but there we are. I lose another place thanks to that. Ah. Trying to get past him too eagerly. It's not going well for me, is it? I'll get past them now, though.
running beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. But the where the braking point is there. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. doing Okay, it just wasn't going to handle it there. Okay. So nice detail throughout. These are the mirrors. I have a reasonably decent set of detail there. We'll have a look at the replay. I don't know if I want to look at the replay, actually. <laughs> That's quite a dreadful race, but... And as uh, the adrenaline dies down after there he is, Bob on the podium. Three. Here come the top three. Out look at the that. Podium. Well done, Bob. And uh, he's pleased. So... There's David there as well. He knows who he is. Right. And uh, a lot of the Codemasters development team are all, all there. So all these guys are somebody that's worked on the game. That's it for today's Grand Prix. And from Antony, it's goodbye. And Took see you again replay. next time. See my dreadful driving. Well, dreadful start. Well, I have another cup of tea. That wasn't good, was it? That car was just joined to me with glue, basically. So it took a while to get off him. Eventually, we detached ourselves. And away we go. Look at that. Nigel Mansell pushing hard. What a great car. Now there is a bit of a problem, because of the increased resolution and detail, you can actually see, easily see the head popping into and out of view on the different lots. That's something that you need to look at, so as the car drives along you can see your driver disappearing and reappearing. Now, you can see the lot changes there as well. So it's the detail model of the car that they're using, you see it actually changing on the way around a bit. Retro Allen may return at some point, absolutely, we love a bit of retro gaming. But for now we're in retro F1 cars, so let's see how we have it. 
good to see some of you in the chat. Look at that, 46 viewers. My goodness me. We are pushing the boat out today. So that's enough of that. That's lovely, isn't it? Let's take a look at another, um, another track combination. What's that then? On the podium, there you go. See, I usually use the PC versions as my default rather than the console ones. On the consoles I just do... Uh, let's just do a bit of a time trial for a second just to see some course detail. And we'll go to the modern F1 cars. Let's try... Um, Let's just do, I don't know, we're doing Monaco, but let's do, uh, we've got Brazil coming up. Let's do Abu Dhabi. Just uh, to see how it runs. Oh, hello, Tom. Absolutely. Halo has to be tried. A lot of my viewers don't realise is I actually probably play more FPS games than I do racing games. I play a lot of Star Wars Battlefront. I used to play a lot of COD. But if I put that on the VV channel, there'd be outroar for all this non-racing gaming that I play. So you just see the racing racing side of things. Okay, it's, uh I don't even know the gearing for this. This could be messy. Gears. No, it's the fourth gear corner. Okay. I actually have to concentrate for a minute because I don't know the gears for the corners. This game really does punish you if you go into a corner too quickly. Um, very controlled. Visually again, PC version. I mean, it's just crystal clear. Really nice. So we're learning it gradually. Always a nice course, yeah, it's very smooth, it's nice and detailed, would look nice to see the changing changing lighting conditions. I don't do much F1 anymore. But, um, if I practiced on this obviously I'd get I'd get pretty quick.
just takes lots of time to get your eye in on the on the laps. So that's okay. Really nice. Got the gearing wrong there. That messed me up. And that's the lap invalidated. That's that then. So more practice needed to learn this lap. I still haven't got the steering as I would like it and I'm going to stop there actually because we're going to exit that. All these menus in every game is different so let's see so that's that lovely advance. Is there a midnight opening in England for the launch of the X from Patrick there? Um, Probably, probably, I should think so, yeah, I mean, people are going to be getting their X's, what is that, tonight? Oh my goodness, it's no, it's tomorrow night, well, tonight, yeah, because tomorrow's the launch, isn't it? Um, so, by this time tomorrow, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, lots of people on your X's out there, so there'll be lots of people doing videos. Um, so, we'll have a look at a race, and then after that, we'll have a look at the... Um, In the Ferrari, uh, we've got Vettel, because Raikkonen's just a bit dull these days, isn't he, if he's driving? Let's see. Uh, let's do Japan. Let's do Brazil, because uh, uh, and I'd like to have it clear. I don't want any rain, because that's just frustrating right let's see how we get on then green light you're right actually you're right I should I should change the light green I don't have my light switches hand the grid order, and I do find that the commentary from David Croft is not as good it's very scripted to the extent okay, that it sounds of course it's going to be but to an extent I kind of want it to be a bit more Natural, it's not as natural as it's. What are the gears? Oh my god. Here's Lewis, look. I must bash him. Take him on. Oh, he's got a faster car than me, boo. Not for long, diving through on the inside. One is just guessing the gears here for the corners rather than actually knowing them. Lots of wheel spin. And he's leading. 
and Brazil. Didn't know where the breaking point was, but it doesn't matter. We held on. Not the best uh, Senna S in the world, but we're all right. We're all right. Glass on the tyres. Is this a third gear? I don't even know what gear these corners are in, that's my problem. We'll catch up on F1 again. See, it's different on live videos, I can't cover up any mistakes. Ah, like that. I was trying to break super late and it wasn't going to have it. Let's see if we can use our knowledge now to try and improve our lap times. breaking point I'm struggling with. Gotta find it. It's because you exit the final corner. Oh well we won't we won't find it. But there we are. There we are. Sebastian Vettel Fantastic. wins. Doesn't matter. Championship's over. Yeah it's the PC version. It's the PC version. I mean it's the same thing as far as I can see here. Uh, it's it's great. Really nice. So, another excellent win. I think the Ferrari. fact is that the Xbox One X is so powerful Tell me out, that it, this game just doesn't success. use it. Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their There's car There's a today. lot more room for, Wind, for improvement. Temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. That really nice. And as we can see, it's time for the podium. And as the drivers make their there's way set. out, there's a familiar red suit making its way to the top step. Fantastic win for Ferrari. <sighs> Moving on to the driver of the day then. Have a good replay. Hey, so we have a Scorpio customer in the room. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I mean, just, just Patrick just saying there about Commodore 64. I started with an Amstrad CPC 464. Uh, some, I don't know, 30 odd plus years ago. Plus. And, uh, you know, if you saw the first F1 game I had, it was just rubbish. So it was just going in a straight line with an F1 car that could go from side to side, avoiding other F1 cars. There were no corners. And it was bad bad thing is we knew the games were crap it's a bit like now saying yeah we, we know the games look good but we know that with more detail and texturing and lighting you know they'll look better but we just had to suffer the pain that was after about 25 30 minutes of loading to get that game it was these were dark times we look at the replays which are excellent now from Codemasters they've really moved on the replays run at 30 frames per second Parts of me wishes that we could have 60 frames on the replay. Uh, I don't see why not. Uh, I will ask Codemasters that question. But other than that, not bad.
Project Cars, I'm yet to test at 4K. Uh, all these games I'm testing at 1080p at the moment. I've tested a bunch uh, on 4K and they look fantastic. I mean, they run really well. Uh, there's a bit of debate over whether Call of Duty has the full patch or not. I mean, it says it's X1, Xbox One enhanced, but either way, in 4K, it still looks really nice. So something's going on. And there we are. Sebastian Vettel. It makes you look so much more professional from the outside. What's that? So we can exit now and we're going to take a look at um, Advance. Let's have a look at some, a different game, shall we? Shall we have a look at a different game? And we're going to take a look at Let's take a look at games. Games. Okay, so here we have the Xbox One enhanced selection here. Uh, obviously, there's a few good titles there. We've got Halo. Tom in the room here will know we played much Halo 2 years ago and a, bit of a fair bit of Halo 3 as well, but we haven't played much Halo 5, which apparently in 4K looks amazing. Same with Gears of War needs to be getting into. Uh, we've got Project Cars 2 and Forza 7. Let's do Project Cars 2 first. Uh, just to have a look at that. Now I have a steering wheel. I did it yesterday on 30 frames per second stream. Also, how's it streaming for you guys? Uh, is, it, is, it, is it looking okay? Is it better at 720p 60 or is it better at 1080p 30? Uh, do let me know what your thoughts are. I'm trying to do a smoother frame rate now so you guys can see a bit more frame rate let's see how we get on with this again the, the wheel won't be set up for it i've not i've not been playing project cars on the on the uh, xbox um, now let's see so project cars 2 then i mean this has had quite a sizable update to it um, and i'm sure this is the probably the first of many. We're going to have a look at uh, a custom race. Let's do a mm, what to track. Um, so many tracks. Is, no, I get kind of overwhelmed by it sometimes. Um, We'll do Brands Hatch. Should we do a Brands Hatch? Let's do. Um, no, let's do something else. Let's do. Um, let's do Imola because that was a setup course on the first game. Okay, see so how we get on with this. Uh, now we ran this yesterday, uh, and I ran it with a full field of cars and weather, and it, it handled it pretty well, uh, running in 1080p mode. So I say pretty well. I, I'm not digital foundry so I don't have a, uh, a frame rate scanner but I can tell you it's a lot better than what you have on the standard Xbox so this game chugs a bit on say Long Beach at night in the rain uh, especially when you have a full field but now it's, it's handling it nicely and the, obviously the replays are sort of lock 30 now rather than dipping below it I'll have a look at the display options. I haven't had a look at the display options yet, but that clearly is looking much better now. Oh, steering's not set up right though. Something's going on with the steering, but yeah, that's almost impossible to drive. Okay, so we need to escape that. Bear with me for a moment. And we're just going to set the steering up for a second. 
Which also means we look at the options as well, doesn't it? So. I don't think there's anything more there. No, there's not a performance tab in that way, like there is on the PC version, just get controls. No, that's clearly not right, is it? It seems to think I have a 12,000 degree steering wheel. Why does that? Lock it there, Let's just lock it there. Do lovely. Let's try that again now. Now we actually have a steering wheel that will work. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll have to see what it's like with anti-aliasing. I noticed last night in the rain, there was still quite a few on Long Beach, there's still a few anti-aliasing issues. And the LODs don't seem to be as detailed as they are on the... PC version. Lighting as well doesn't seem to be quite as shiny. That's better. Still loads better than usual. I mean frame rate is locked here and holding nicely. Goodness me, it's stopping on the apex set. Now, as you can see, uh, I've got a locked 60, 100% perfect here, running really nicely. Super locked, there's no drops at all. Ah, locked my wheels. Yeah, really nice and smooth. Have to learn the course of it with this car. Oh. Still something not quite right with my handling. I seem to be losing the rear end too easily. But overall, lots more detail. I hope this is coming across in the stream in terms of the smoothness of it. Yeah, the handling's not quite right there. The car's understeering like crazy. Let's see if we can figure out how to uh, get around that. Ah, yes, that would need mean me setting up my headlights. Uh, I don't know where the braking point is. Kept it on the track, though. It's losing it really easily. Even on the kerbs.
be more progressive on the power now. That's the way forward. Getting a lot of uh, lift off oversteer, which is uh, certainly contributing to that. But overall, very nice, very smooth. We'll try a different car in a minute, I think. I'm using the rear end constantly in this car. Okay, that was hard work. But look at that, replay-wise, very nice at the end there. Let's have a look at the actual replay now. Shame that's running at 60 frames there, but the actual replays are running at 30, so... Off screen. So yeah, the replays are running at 30. Which is a shame, it was running at 60 as it crossed the line there, it looked really nice. So, 30, second, second re 30 frames per second replays. Great replay sound, isn't there? Grunt from the engine. Or from your car, anyway. Okay, let's get out of that. Let's go to West Central, let's look at a different car track. see what we can see so um, we'll have a look at uh, Monza That's still formula car Hmm. Has to do IndyCar, of course. Um. Lotuses. Hmm. I often can't make my mind up. I don't like the rear end on the Formula Renault either, but. I guess we can try it. I just have to tippy toe around the course. I find find the rear end sort of locks up on this sometimes, and you just slide off. So I guess you've got to get your tyres up for temperature on it. Okay, that's great. That's good. 720p 60 is definitely the way forward, isn't it, for a stream? Especially looking at these games because frame rate is everything. No, the 30 frames per second replays, I guess it was locked that way. They've just improved other areas. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if there's... There's no reason for the console not to be able to do 60 frames. So it's definitely not a console issue. Nice detail there, though. That looks way better. If we can get through turn one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Through turn one without a massive crash. Wow. What is going on? Let's see if we can do the same for turn two. 
match. The first chicane, shall I say. Oh, just about. Really tippy toeing rounds here. I just this car is a little bit tricky. It gets a bit lively when you uh, lock the wheels up. Goodness me, that was almost an... Oh, what a late dive. That was brilliant from that AI. Almost an impact there. It's really slow through the chicane, isn't it? Super quick on the rest of the circuit, and it gets to these braking points, and they uh, can barely move. Oh, there's that rear end again. Horrible. Big fat tyres like that. This is a tippy towing lap. I can't throw this car into corners where I'd like to at all. That was really enjoyable. It was really enjoyable. I think, uh, I think we'll have a look at the replay there and then maybe have another go. This is it. You're going to see cars getting through turn one without touching each other at Monza. This is, uh, this is stuff of legend here. See it. Stuff of legend. There he goes. Look at him. Nice and shiny. Lots of detail. Look at that, how sensible is that? No crashes, nobody touching anyone. A ah, little couple of little, very little bumps, but that's brilliant. Look at that. Fantastic. That is progress, viewers. It wasn't like that a few weeks ago. Nearly touched by the AI, but not quite. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. We're going to try something else now. Actually, I would like to see that overtake by the AI at the end of the lap. of a weird shadow element there. there we go. Watch this overtake now by the AI on me when I didn't expect it. 
Look at that, he's right there, he's right there. Look at that. Oh, oh so late. Amazing, that was close. Brilliant. Okay, we have the race central. And um uh, let's take a look at cards for a second. I just want to see not what I was wanting to do. Um, so we're going to take a look at something else. Track. Take a different car. Um, uh, oh goodness me, there's so many circuits, isn't there? I get indigestion with them all. try this out then. Bit of Watkins Glen. And then after that we'll we'll call it a night. Uh and then we'll we'll do more streaming in the week and uh, I'll get more organized with it eventually. Let's see how we get on with this. Watkins Glen again, like Imolo, it's one of the first two courses revealed for Project Cars One when it was first shown. Twenty eleven. So, a long time ago now. Okay, let's get stuck in. break? That's the question. Ah, oh, what? I've got to go back to last place. Ah, oh, God. Go on then. Go on. Well, that was a bit of a disaster, wasn't it? Avoiding a crash. I still get done by the uh, track officials. up on them a bit. Oh no, hit the curb. And we hit the hit the brakes pretty quickly there to save us. Let's just restart this because that's I'd rather be in an actual race and just spend the whole time trying to catch up. Let's go. 
this time. We won't use the outside of the track so much. We'll just take a bump. And we are all right this time. Oh, this is a dangerous bit of driving. And it's dangerous. <laughs> it's all right. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. I'm meant to do that. Still in this. Hey, I suddenly seems to go really quick, and I can't keep up with them at all. Like they've got like perfectly hot tyres when I'm struggling. Like they have more grip than me. Again, look at that, just no grip at all. I'll have to practice more. do is I'm going to exit that. I'm going to try uh, just try a few more laps. So I'm going to see what the grip's like if I run uh, a five lap race. And um, no, not 14. Try that out, see how we get on. Now, it's always weird because when I look at my little screen, uh, I get a sort of delay to see what you're seeing, sort of 30 seconds. On. Now we've got Ahmed saying, is X, well, I think Xbox One X is worth it if you want sort of the most powerful game console for multi format releases, uh, for sure. I mean, this is going to be my default console now, moving away from the PS4. Right, let's try and just be sensible with this one. And then we'll call it a night. back to last again. Go on then. Mm. 
not really much you can do on that corner, is there? That means I'll probably spend most of my race now in last, but it doesn't matter. At least the AI won't sort of be constantly bumping into me. Really tiptoe around here. Concentrate on the driving for a minute. I can't believe he followed me around that whole section. And I can't see out of my mirror properly there. But. Through that horrible corner. Carl oh, really doesn't like it at the moment. Got hit by something there. There's been another car crashing into me. Have to concentrate a bit more on this race. Unresponsiveness of my gears as well, but I don't know why that's happening. It's close. Just a lot of speed through there, a lot of momentum lost. That other car is all over me. This guy behind me is really pressuring me. And he's taken me. I knew it would happen. That guy was literally bumping into the back of me all the way. Can't seem to uh, find the grip in this car at the moment, though.
Yeah, the AI is just gone in this race, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't matter how hard you drive. You need to have it on a... Whatever it's on, it's too hard. It's, it's strange how it just varies, doesn't it? So much from car to car, you know? You can be in a car on the same AI do rating and w dominate the race. And then you change cars and suddenly you're... I just cannot catch the field. That's your best final section so far. Great driving. Uh, just, it just doesn't like that corner. So frustrating. The rear end is just so loose on this car. Oh well, any chance of closing up just went. But there's no improvement in grip. I've done five laps because I wanted to see was there an improvement in grip as the race proceeded for me, but not as much as I would normally like. Getting faster in that final sector, but really struggling with turn one. That was a frustrating race. Okay, so visually, yeah, really nice. Is there any screen tearing? Yes, I've seen a bit of screen tearing on the uh, Long Beach circuit. Um, and yeah, overall, very impressed so far. But um, that's it for now uh, on this little stream, viewers. I hope you've enjoyed it. And, and there'll be more from me, of course, uh, very soon. But um, that's it for me for now. Bye bye.